Welcome back to another one of my unaesthetic vlogs. Okay, so today I actually want to show you guys like my thought process, how I make my crochet tops, like my custom pieces, I guess, to fit my own uh, measurements. So if you guys are a little lost in the sauce on how to make your own tops, if you're wondering maybe how all these creators are making all these pretty pieces, I have just a few tips and tricks. These aren't going to be like an exact guide on how to make like a specific type of top. This is kind of just like a guide to how you guys can start your own tops. Also, I don't even know what type of top I'm even going to make. I really have been wanting to like incorporate knit and crochet together and I don't even know how I'm even going to do that but it's already pretty late here it's like 9 30 so I'm going to kind of brainstorm kind of like save a couple of pictures or inspo from Pinterest I'm going to plan something out and hopefully tomorrow morning we can actually start on something um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys how I start everything and whatnot but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> All right, I came to the conclusion of only crocheting this top just because of the fact that I'm still kind of new at knitting and I'd probably mess this up pretty bad if I tried to make a top out of no pattern from knitting. So I am going to be using this uh, brown um, acrylic yarn. Um, ignore the kids. Also, I have really bad allergies, so if I sound sick, that's why. But. So I, I'll put up a picture here, but this is basically my inspo of what I want to make. It's like the shirt in the middle. And so basically you have like two ways of making a top. You can either do it like from side, going up and down, creating the whole top as you go. Or you can start it from the bottom and work like horizontally, like in rows up and down all the way to the top. Usually that's kind of what I do. I start it from the bottom to top horizontally but this time I'm actually going to be starting it vertically I actually did one of my other like um, boleros vertically as well and it worked out totally fine this one for the middle shirt that I saw here on for the inspo so for the inspo it actually looks like the pattern goes like vertically so since I'm trying to recreate it that's what I'm going to be doing Okay, so basically how this is going to start, I'm basically going to be making a chain um, that is going to fit my length from my side. Basically like from however- What are you doing? Anyways, I basically a chain that goes the length of your side from wherever you want it to start. Like if you want it to be a crop top or whatever then start it from whatever length you want the shirt to like end at from the bottom measure from that point all the way until your underarm kind of so what I do for my underarm I kind of measure like where my bra is on my underarm so like not exactly over here for my underarm but like more down here is where my bra is so that's kind of my stopping point to where I go so that way I know that I'm not making something too tight for my underarm and if I do make it too tight I'm basically screwed because I I would have to start the project from the very beginning <laughs> so that is basically what I'm going to be doing the first rows I'm going to double crochet this whole piece but basically I'm just going to double crochet back and forth until I start so every time I go to the bottom, I'm just going to chain two and double crochet to start the new row. But every time I come up here to like my underarm area, I am going to do increases on the very last stitch so it can gradually increase all the way up to my shoulder area. And then once I'm at my shoulder, I'll probably do like two or three rows of double crochets. And then once I am satisfied, I'll do <laughs> I'll do decreases. So I'll decrease only on the top row, um, and then keep 
double crocheting rows and then once I get to the middle just do like maybe two or three rows of double crochets of no increases no decreases only at the top over here on this side and then once I get to the side again do increases two or three rows for the strap and then decreases for the other side of the armpit. Basically, that's how the entire top is going to be. I'm going to write down every row that I make, like every row that I make an increase, I'm going to write it down. Once I am done with the front piece, I'm actually going to just copy the start of this pattern, like from the front, and do the exact same thing for the back. It's basically going to be a mirrored um, a crochet pattern so exactly what you do for the front do for the back unless you want the back to look different then just like do increases and decreases accordingly but that's basically how I'm going to do this top so let me get started on crocheting I only have four skeins of these uh, it's looking like they're like 55 grams of yarn I only have four and I'll definitely probably need to get like another three to complete this top I'll see about that, but let's get started. Whew. Okay, we just got back from going on a little walk to our local market. It's honestly really close by and we caught really good weather. It was really cloudy and it, there was a nice breeze, but um, I got some crochet done. I'll show you guys in a minute, but I just realized that I can't find any pens and I don't know. So I went and got some, but I mainly got some groceries my daughter loves choco bread and we got some more strawberries orange juice delicious yummy things i also got something to make for dinner today so that is another checked tick on my list for today anyways i'm gonna go put this away and i'll show you guys some crochet um updates why is it that every time I click record, this kid or this one just starts acting out? Okay, so I realized that on the actual picture for my inspo that the armhole doesn't have too much of like a gradual like increase. It's kind of just like a little bit of an increase and then I realized that the row, it goes from a little bit and then all of a sudden the next row kind of goes like all the way up to the shoulder area so that's what I'm going to do in order to recreate this and basically I have I have four rows done um, and over here is where I started on this left side and basically I started off with a chain of 50 and then Honestly, I chained two extra after the 50. So on the 50th chain, mark that, chain two more, and then make two double crochets into that uh, marked chain stitch, with the, which is your 50th stitch. And that basically starts like the increases for your armpit area towards your shoulder. And after that, as you can see on the bottom part, I didn't increase anything, I just kept it normal. Once I get back to the top, I actually on the, um, I guess you would call it the 50th stitch, I did two double crochets, so an increase. And then, so two double crochets on the 50th stitch, and then on the 51st stitch, I did another increase. So. It went from 51 to 52, 3, 54, 53. And then uh, on the next row, I only did an increase on the very top stitch, not two, like the row before. Went all the way down, went back like normal, came back up, and then only did an increase on the top stitch as well. And I feel like that's basically enough of an increase on the um, armpits area. I'm hoping and after this so it kind of like comes up to here now and I think this next row I am actually going to just chain how many ever stitches um, all the way to my shoulder area and then from there I'll just basically do a couple of rows 
and then I'll start decreasing again. I'll probably decrease um, slip stitch onto basically around this area and then do a couple decreases. I don't know. You guys will see. It'll make sense as we keep going, but I will be back with another update once I have done the chains and the amount of rows. I actually need to update my written pattern that I am currently doing for it right now. So I will get back to you guys. Okay, so a little update. I have officially finished one skein and basically I am on my like 17th row. So here is where the arm hole, like the armpit area is and then we increased only on one side did a whole bunch of chains to the top of our shoulder and then did a couple of straight straight rows nothing change and then over here I did single crochets and then once I got to the neck area where I wanted to start my decreases then I went ahead and basically I didn't do decreases um, I just did like since I started the row with single crochets back down I basically did a half double crochet next and then a double crochet so it can look like an increase and then finish the rest of the row with double crochets when i came back up i stopped and i stopped my double crochets at the last double crochet from the previous row if i'm making sense hopefully you guys are understanding and then turned my work and did the exact same thing. I kind of chained one, skipped to the first stitch, did a half double crochet in the next, or did a single crochet in the next, then a half double crochet, and then started the double crochets all the way down again. So that's how I made my decreases gradually, and here we are. So basically it is looking like, a little like this. And this is what one skein got me so far. And honestly, I am really liking it. I think I'm going to stop my decreases right here at this row. And I think for like the tank top look kind of that I'm going for, I think this is a good place to kind of stop the decreases. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my second skein and um, on my way back, I'm just going to do a couple of rows of just no increases, no decreases, no nothing, just same going across. And then once I get to um, the other side, I'll go ahead and basically mirror everything that I did on this side for the other side. And hopefully everything looks symmetrical, everything works out fine. I'm really hoping it does, but the end is kind of coming up to right here where my, yeah, to my hip area, which is, I don't know, I really like my shirts coming down and covering a lot. Um, but this is what it is doing or looking like so far. Anyways, I'm running out of sunlight and by the time I finish the other half to show you guys, um, like an update, I feel like the sunlight is already going to be like gone. So I'm basically going to update you guys on what I finish throughout the rest of the day tomorrow. When the sunlight is better, I will update you guys. And yeah, BRB. Two days later. Ooh, this, it's, it's currently two days later. Let me tell y'all. Yesterday, we literally spent our day just like chilling, relaxing. It is so cloudy. It's back to being cold here. And I don't know. I just did not film. We just wanted to chill, binge watch some Netflix, and eat at home, relax. Literally, I was just watching my true crime shows and crocheting. And I finished the top. 
it's not what it was meant to be from the beginning so initially I wanted to make like a tank top type of uh, crochet top I changed the design literally once I was done with the front panel and I know that I left you guys off on the beginning half of the front panel so let me show y'all what basically is going on I ended up making like this sort of like halter top and here is the back so literally like um uh, oh this is probably how it feels being born ignore the hair the hair is just a hot mess but this is basically how the top is i do have to tell you guys that i do regret making like the decreases or whatever the hell i did for the first half when i came down for the collar remember how i did a like single crochet then half double crochet then a double crochet to make like a gradual or a nicer decrease or increase whatever the hell for the collar coming down i uh, basically screwed myself up by doing that because coming back up it was a little kind of like it was it's pretty tricky do to do like because I said I was basically going to mirror everything that I did on this half for the other half and so yeah I basically ended up having to once I double crocheted all the way back up and it was time to come back up to the shoulders I literally ended up like chaining two doing a like single crochet into the first chain and then a half double crochet and then a double and then like just kept doing a double and then once I came back up doing doubles I had to again chain two you know to like do the gradual increase but I don't know if you guys remember but coming back down I think I did I did 20 stitches of single crochets and then at 20 after 20 stitches I then started like the increase decrease increase yeah increase for the collar anyways basically I just had to do 20 chains coming back up right wrong in the three decreases or increases whatever you want to call them I ended up missing one stitch in every single one so when I came back up to do the 20 chains I was short of three chains basically the three like 95 total chains or stitches that I was supposed to have from this shoulder so I was not about to undo the rest of the all of this that I had done I was like okay I'm not that type of crocheter I don't have the patience like I just don't okay I'm sorry I was like screw it I'm just gonna chain plus three to reach like the exact same a uh, chain length or ch stitch length from this half because again I wanted to make sure at least they were like symmetrical so you can't really notice when I wear the actual top honestly you can't notice at all but if you do like what I did for like my next top or like if I were to revise this pattern I would just end up doing like an increase of double crochets instead of like the whole like single double half whatever that's kind of like the deal that you have to deal with when you're making your own patterns you kind of have to like realize what you're doing and then like you are eventually going to have to take apart certain rows and then remake them it's just part of the process but hold on someone needs to clean up on aisle 10 <laughs> okay but if you are using this video as like a reference as to like how you can start your own tops it's all try and error literally like it, you can literally start your top the way i did it honestly the way that this came out or this specific design was very easy to go about it's all about knowing your stitches if you like you're familiar with increases and decreases i feel like that's super important and the way you want to start your top literally i have started tops from both different manners like vertically going up and down or horizontally going like left and right left and right from bottom to top honestly i feel like both ways have worked out pretty well it's honestly just depends on what you're more comfortable with and the type of design that you're going with as well this was pretty nice to do because once i got so basically once i finished the entire top piece after all of the increases and decreases once i got to this end that's when i realized that i was like wait a minute this top could actually look way cuter if it was like a halter top instead so 
I once I got back down to like the 50 uh, double crochets that this is at the ends I literally just did a whole bunch of 50s like rows going all the way to the other side but I do suggest not doing the exact same amount of like rows as you did for the front uh, for the back so do the back with a couple of less amount of rows so that way when you put the pieces together um, your crochet work will actually be like snug or like fit you a little better if you kind of understand what I'm trying to say basically so that your work won't be as like loose or saggy but again it all depends on how much you like I guess how you like your tops to fit you now literally right when I finished making this top the weather goes from like hot as balls to like cold it it's like nice cloudy cold now and it's going to be like this literally the entire of this week it's gonna be like rainy windy and I'm like cool so now I won't be able to actually wear my top until like two weeks from now <laughs> whatever I'm okay because at least I'm not sweaty anymore <laughs> for the sake of this video and to show you guys how the top actually looks like on me I'll go ahead and put it on and try it out for you guys I'll put on a little outfit I do, so my first intention once I decided to switch the design to a halter top, halter top I literally was thinking of like making um, the top like because I literally just put the two shoulders together, I slip stitched them together and initially I was like wait, I wanted originally to sew like a satin bow to the end so that way when I tied it behind my neck it would be like a nice like little pretty bow and I'd be like ooh coquette vibes I was like I have no ribbon on me and I I'm, I'm we're chillin okay I have no intentions of getting out of this house because my allergies if you couldn't of tell already are extremely bad like they are just bad um, last night I literally had to sleep through a migraine I was literally like on the view on the verge of puking because of how bad my headache was because I can't fucking breathe and I'm sniffling 24 7 it's literally it fucking sucks okay anyways I don't even know what I was saying anymore oh yeah I didn't want to go out so I was like screw it I'm just slip stitching the shoulders together but eventually I do want to um, like make a nice bow and like attach it to the back I eventually I will do that because the idea of it just sounds so freaking pretty I feel like it'll complete the whole the whole vibe <laughs> I have Cheeto fingers here with me okay let's try this on let me show you guys the magic all right here is the top hopefully I am like full in frame here but this like she looks good obviously i'm going to be wearing like a strapless bra with this so ignore the bra just ignore it see this is what i mean by not doing the exact number of rows as the front to do less amount so that way you guys get like this nice like snug fit but not too too tight you know this is what i mean by like the bow would just complete everything, you know? The bow will honestly just, you know, it would just make it. Make it a whole fit. But here she is, like, I honestly, like, she looks good. Like, what, you know? Like, this is how easy it is. And honestly, if you guys want a pattern or a tutorial for this top, let me know. I have it written down. I can do it for you guys. Just let me know. Let me bring you in. Okay, so this concludes the video for today. Um, like I said, if you want a step-by-step -step on how I did this specific top, let me know. I will be more than gladly to do so. Um, but yeah, let me know if you kind of found like these tips um, useful for you guys to create your own tops. It's literally that easy. I literally made this in two days because it's just literally just a bunch of double crochets. Like, it's not that hard. Trust me. You just literally have to trust the process. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I will be seeing you guys in a another little video. I'll probably be having another a little tutorial out coming soon, but yeah, I need to take some more Benadryl 
and sleep because <laughs> these allergies are just I'm just done with them anyways I'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>